Everyone's worrying about Brexit. Can we do a deal with the EU? What will be the price of frigging camembert? Plus, UK manufacturing in decline, they say. And then I see our strong and stable leader in Saudi Arabia, shamelessly selling British weapons to despots. And suddenly it all becomes clear. Let's do that then. I mean, they say post-Brexit we need to look beyond the EU. Great idea. Let's do trade deals with Yemen and other women-loving, gay-friendly tourist traps and become the world's top exporter of death. Of course, the argument goes that by selling bombs to the Saudis, etc., that the weapons will eventually make their way to even less savoury regimes, like ISIS or even terrorists. Well, there's an obvious solution. Am I missing something? Let's sell direct. Cut out the middleman. Well, Middle East man. These nutters don't care about European Court of Human Rights regulations and whatnot. They're only interested in one thing, bombs. Well, actually, not just bombs, also heavy artillery. Drones, electronic missiles, white phosphorus, the works. These are all new markets for us, while the EU crumbles in a mar of bureaucracy. And 20 years since Princess Diana brought landmines into the spotlight, it's time for big business to wake up. Their manufacture is prohibited by European regulations. Well, we could tell the EU to take a running jump. The sky's the limit, literally, in the case of our surface-to-air missiles. Arguments about German car import tariffs just don't cut the mustard in a nuclear holocaust. We were once a great imperial nation. We didn't just do business with the world, we owned it. Now, let's destroy it. It's time for our strong and stable leader, Theresa May, to say hi, baby, to the UK's new business partner, Sheikh Tinpot Al-Fatwa. God save Prince Philip.